Hello everybody, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on lesson 3-7, and we're on page 133. Let me write it a little bit bigger for you. 1, 3, 3. We have 1 in our hundreds place. We have 3 tens, and we have 3 ones. So if you don't have this page open, pause the video, get out your robot turtle book, and make sure you get on page 133. But if you already have it open, let's keep on going. Uh, today is kind of an easy-ish lesson, um, because today we can use any method we want to add. We can use doubles facts to help us, we can use near doubles to help us, or uh, if you're adventurous, maybe you want to use the making 10 and then adding. Uh, but there's also something else that we've learned to use, and I'm really upset they didn't add it, so I took the time to make one myself, and that is a number line right there. If you wanted to use a number line with me, and you don't have one on your desk, you can go ahead and draw a short little part of a number line, just like, just like we learned uh, a few lessons ago. So I had my number line start at 6, because that is the smallest number here. And I just went as far as I could until I didn't have any more space. There's no perfect way to make a number line. Uh, just... Make a segment one, and then if you need more jumps, you can always add more numbers. It's not a big deal. So, they are giving us the addition problem 8 plus 6. And then it says, choose a strategy to solve the problem. Use words, objects, or pictures to explain your work. Oh, oh my gosh, how did I forget this? We could also draw a quick picture. So, uh, any extra space you have, you can use that to draw a quick picture. And I'll also go through that later on, too. But... Let's test this out. I want you to use uh, one strategy that you really, really like to use for addition and solve 8 plus 6, which is this problem right here. So go ahead and solve 8 plus 6 on your own, and we're going to go over the different ways we could solve this. All right, now, if you're still working on this math problem, pause the video, take your time, it's not a big deal, then when you're ready, hit play. Uh, okay, so let's go through a couple of different ways we could solve this. So for 8 plus 6, well, we could use a number line. We can start at either 6 or 8 because it doesn't matter which one we start with because we can add in any order. Um, so let me go ahead, I'll start at 8, just so that way there's less jumps. And I count 1. Two, three, four, five, six. I land on 14. So now I know that 8 plus 6 is 14. Or maybe you like making a quick picture, which we can do very easily. So 8 and 6. First, we can make 8 uh, dots or 8 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six. And then once you make the dots, you just count them all. And you'll get the same answer. So we can even check in and uh, you know, double check our work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I still get 14. Or if you like doing some mental math, you could think to yourself, okay, first, what is 6 plus 6? 6 plus 6 is 12. And then you could compare it to 6 plus 8. And you think to yourself, okay, well, 8 is 2 more than 6, so my answer must be 2 more also. 2 more than 12 is 14. Okay, so there's a few ways you could solve this. Just use what works best for you. I will go through a few different ways every time. But just use the one that works for you. Don't worry about having to use doubles if you don't like it. Don't worry about having to use the 10 frame if you don't like it. And if you don't need to draw a picture, that's fine too. Just use what you like. As long as you get the right answer, I, it doesn't matter to me. As long as you're not cheating and you can do the work on your own. Okay, guys? Let's go ahead and jump over to page 134. 
and let's try a couple more problems. All right, so here's page 134. This is what it should look like in your book. If it doesn't look like this, then double check your page number, okay? All right, so uh, we're going to skip number one. And you can, of course, solve these any way you like. And since it's just kind of straight up addition, guys, I'm going to kind of skip doing number one. And because I know you guys can add, we're going to go straight to number two. And I'm going to let you do this one completely on your own. We have 9 plus 7. While you're solving this, I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a little number line to use. Uh, because I feel like we might need one. So go ahead and solve 9 plus 7. Any method you want to use. You can use doubles, near doubles, 10 frame, or number line, or a quick picture even. Okay? So go ahead. Alright, if you are still working, that's fine. Go ahead and pause the video. Take your time with solving 9 plus 7. If you are all done, we're going to keep on moving and we're going to go over it together. Okay? So 9 plus 7. Maybe you want to use the number line. We can start at 9. Because that would be our starting number, right? And then our second number tells us how many skips or jumps. And we're going to count 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, and 7. We stop. We land on 16. So now we know that 9 plus 7 is 16. Another way you could have thought about this is first solving 7 plus 7 and saying, you know what? 7 plus 7 is 14 and 9 is 2 more. So then 2 more than 14 is 16. Again, guys, it's just different ways to think about it. You use what works best for you. Why don't you go ahead and do number three and number four on your own. Okay, guys, go ahead and do number three and number four completely on your own. Okay, if you're still working on these two problems, that's okay. Pause the video, take your time. If not, and you're all done, let's go over it real quick together. Okay, so for 6 plus 7, you could have thought to yourself, oh, you know what? First, I can solve 6 plus 6, and I know 6 plus 6 is 12, because maybe you just really know your doubles facts. And then one more than 6, right? Because uh, one more than 6 is 7. And since it's just one more, then our answer has to be one more. So 6 plus 7 would be 13. Or, or, of course, it's not the only way. You could also use the number line, 6 plus 7. First number is our start number, right? And so I make a dot on 6. You know, I got to add that. No big deal. Okay, so here's my start number. Make a little dot on it. And now our next number tells me how many jumps, which is 7, 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, and 7. I still land on 13. No matter what, you will get the correct answer. Okay, let's uh, go on to number 4 now. Now we have 8 plus 9. Maybe you're thinking, you know what? I know my doubles facts really well. I know 8 plus 8 is 16. And 9 is just one more, right? So 1 more than 16 is 17. Or, of course, use your trusty number line. That's fine, too. Our first number is 8, so that's our start number. Put a dot on 8. And our second number is 9, and that tells us how many jumps. So let's go ahead and do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I stop. 
and land on 17, which is the same answer we already had, right? Okay, now uh, let's go to page 135. I'm going to explain something really quick, and then we're going to wrap things up. All right, guys, so last part of today is page 135. Now, since this is pretty much straightforward addition, I'm going to just let you go on your own from here on out. I want you to do number 5 all the way through number 10. And then I want you to give number 11 a try as a little bit of review. We, we haven't done something like this in quite a while. We have 9 plus blank equals 11. How many jumps would it take to go from 9 to 11? That would be your answer. All right, that's a little hint. But go ahead and try these other problems on your own. Use the uh, best method that works for you. Uh, if you're not in my classroom and you're watching this, make sure you ask your teacher what they would like you to do next. Um, so I hope this video helps. Um, you know, be confident in what you uh, what you do, guys. Just make sure you use that one method that works for you, even if it's just a number line or drawing a quick picture. Okay, don't worry about the other methods. Find what works best for you. Keep using it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.